Hello and welcome to the John Arc Show. Today's episode is called The Investment Graveyard. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Do you know what the investment graveyard is? It's the place your money goes to die after you've purchased or invested in the wrong items. While many people don't realize this, the investment graveyard is now growing faster than ever. It's growing so quickly that it's amazing, really. Today, we're going to try and teach you how to keep your money and your assets and your possessions out of the investment graveyard. No easy task these days, given all the nonsense people are buying for reasons they don't even understand. First thing first, you have to know what kind of assets and investments are most popular and most likely to end up in the investment graveyard. We'll give you a short list of some of the common inhabitants of the graveyard, just so you can avoid making those mistakes. First, there are the get rich schemes. Back in the day, it used to be timeshare condos. Now everybody wants to invest in real estate for Airbnb revenues and because they think the, uh, the homes are still going to go up in value. They're not. But guess what? A lot of people bought the rental properties thinking they were going to get, uh, get rich really quick only to find out that a lot of the cities they bought this real estate in uh, no longer allows Airbnbs or dramatically restricts it in those neighborhoods. So do your research to see what your city or town will allow before you think about setting up an Airbnb or before you think about purchasing a property for the express purposes of uh, renting it out on Airbnb because it'll end up in the graveyard if you don't. Next, we have digital assets like NFTs. I don't like NFTs. In fact, I despise them as an obvious scam. I don't trust NFTs, and I certainly don't believe they are as rare or investment worthy as some of these idiotic celebrity spokespeople try and convince people that they are. I don't see how a digital picture of a donkey <laughs> or something else stupid is going to make you money. And I don't believe they're as rare as they claim. I don't believe that attaching a stupid serial number to a digital picture of a dancing moose <laughs> will, will add any scarcity or real value to it, especially since they've probably created 10,000 other digital pictures of that same stupid dancing moose. It all just looks and feels like, an, like a classic con job. The next major investment that's really popular in the investment graveyard are 90% of colleges and college degrees. Most of them are a complete sham, scam, and fraud. Do you know you can now take a college course in highly important subject matter like Marvel comic characters or basket weaving? That's not an exaggeration. That's the truth. That's the major fraud that colleges are perpetuating on the American public and kids and their poorly informed parents who pay for these tuitions. They're asking you to pay, for, pay them a fortune to learn what you can already learn for free on YouTube. You know, you'd be hard pressed to find something that you can't learn on YouTube. In fact, a lot of experts on YouTube are better informed than the so-called uh, tenured professors uh, in academia. By the way, for all those people who hope to be a professor someday at your favorite or most respected college, I have some bad news for you. Colleges aren't giving out tenure like they used to. In fact, you, you almost have to be a celebrity or Nobel Prize winner to get tenure from these morons. What they do is they hire a lot of uh, new people to come in and they tell them, hopefully, if you do a really good job, someday you'll get tenure but someday never comes and you're not getting tenure and you're always going to be paid really poorly. The next thing you should avoid is investing a lot of money into the garbage romantic relationships. 
Don't marry someone who will bankrupt you. Don't date somebody who only wants to get together with you if you take them out to a nice dinner or an expensive concert or any of that nonsense. Don't start a family with someone who only wants to force you onto their child support gravy train. Avoiding financial and romantic predators is a great way to keep your money out of the investment graveyard. Next, we get to the really big one. Don't invest in or move into real estate that will end up in the graveyard. How do you know if your property will end up there? Don't purchase real estate in a city or state that has insane taxes or policies or confiscatory regulations designed to cause you to lose your house at some point. And I think most of you know the cities and states where this is happening all day, every day. Not to mention the new regulations and laws these morons are planning to pass are planning to pass in the very near future. You know, they're just going to accelerate the mass exodus out of these cities and states. Don't buy property in a place that doesn't allow Airbnb rental. I touched on this earlier, but it's very, very true. Don't buy property in high crime areas or in areas where the prosecutors or district attorneys don't enforce the law. Don't buy property in bad school systems. Don't buy property that isn't cash flow positive unless you uh, can renovate it and add value to it that will make it cash flow positive. Next, there's the stock market. We're now in such a chaotic time that we believe the stock market is going to be dropping for a while. We don't give stock advice, but I can tell you that most people out there are avoiding the stock market because they feel it's falling like a hot knife. With that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time you upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.